manners, protocol, rigmarole, regulations, these are the things that make life tolerable and bearable. Manners are what separates us from the beasts. And you've seen dogs, they sniff each other's bottoms. You be you, and I'll be like, I'm, an, I'm a debutante. Okay. And I need to be trekked like a bloody beauty queen, all okay. right? I'm a pageant queen or something like that. So this is a first date. What should we order, uh, Russell? Oh, mommy, you forget yourself. Call me Rita. Would you like me to order for you, Rita? Oh, please, yes, I'd appreciate that. Oh, mommy. Oh, you'll have to forgive me, Josh. I do believe my lady period of the month is happening. Right, so this is the situation. You've got to deal with this. Okay. This date is having her menstrual cycle. What should I do? You don't f*** it up. Oh, I'm so embarrassed, Josh. I've not bought the correct sanitary products. Well, do you want me to go out to a, a drugstore to get I'll something? use your tie. Okay. This but, is a test for your manners. And should I do that? Should I do that? Just now get actually... it off it to her. God, you're gorgeous. Thank you, you know, if it wasn't this part of my cycle, I'd already be pregnant by you. Give us the time. Okay, here it is, here. Thank you. Oh. Right, you got through that, Josh. Okay. That was brilliant. <laughs> Oh, you're already here. Hello! Hello, sir. I I'd love to gain employment with your company. I feel like I'm well equipped for the job. I'm, I'm really excited. What do you think you can bring to our organization? What can you give us? I think I have the passion and the determination and the, and mm. the wherewithal mm. to mm. handle any situation you throw. I'll level with you, Josh. I'm lonely. I go home at night, I got all the money in the world, but I'm lonely. <coughs> Well, how can I help you with that situation, sir? <laughs> how dare you humiliate me! At this point, it's your real opportunity to show manners. <laughs> well, what would I do? As I said, I'm lonely. Comfort me. Um, what can I offer you, sir? I suppose just a kiss would do. Manners, Josh. Manners make a man. This has been your ulterior motive for you. That went well also. You've got the job. I suppose I can't believe how lucky I am to have a man like you. God, when I was a little girl growing up in Cleveland, I dreamed that one day I'd marry a man like you, another man like me, right. two men together and we'd be happy. It's a dream come true for You're me You're not too. doing this just to get near my dad's package? Nope, just for you. Show me that you love me, Josh. Show me you love me in the only way that a man can show another man that he loves him. Snogging, an English word meaning kisses. Take this straw, this lovely British straw from Magob, and you eat it as a consummation of our love. Thank you, Josh. Where are your manners? Where are your manners, Josh? Josh, you are one of the best mannered men I think I've ever met. Mm -hmm. This is a great marriage. I'm very happy with you. I love you. What's the most appropriate way to end a uh, talk show like this? With, I think, customarily, customarily, Josh, I mean, not that you care about such things, it would be the host would just place a hand very gently, very gently, Josh. <laughs> <laughs> just on the thought. Josh, don't gravitate. Just, you just place his hand there. Okay. Just feel his aura. Okay. Just feel that and soak up as much as you can. <laughs>